In this video, we're going to show you how to earn higher yield with precision using concentrated liquidity on Radium, Solana's first and most used automated market maker. This strategy gives you more control, capital efficiency, and upside, but also more responsibility. Welcome back to the DeFi 101 course. This course is made with support from the Solana Foundation and is designed to take you from a crypto investor to a crypto user. You can find a link to the full course playlist as well as supplementary written materials in the video description. Now let's get into it. First, what is Radium and how do you use it? Radium is an automated market maker built on Solana that enables fast, low cost swaps and yield farming. It's been live since 2021 and today it powers liquidity across the Solana DeFi ecosystem. It's the largest DEX on Solana and one of the largest in all of crypto. But what makes Radium unique? It offers both classic constant product formula pools and concentrated liquidity pools. Anyone can create a pool or add liquidity. You can boost rewards with farms and all swaps are powered by a smart routing engine. But today we're focusing on a more advanced feature, CLMMs or concentrated liquidity market makers. And you may be asking, what is concentrated liquidity? Well, in a traditional AMM, your liquidity is spread across the entire price curve from zero to infinity, theoretically. That means your capital is often sitting idle in price ranges that no one's trading in. In concentrated liquidity, you can choose a specific price range where your liquidity is active. That means your capital is used more efficiently and you earn more fees per dollar deposited. But you also take on higher risk if the price moves outside your range. Here's an analogy. Constant product AMMs are like setting up a lemonade stand on every street corner in town. CLMMs are like setting up a single lemonade stand, but exactly where you know people are thirsty. Now let's walk through the steps to actually provide concentrated liquidity on Radium. First, go to radium.io and click liquidity. Connect your wallet and search for a token pair, such as Sol USDC. Click deposit to move to the next step. Select your price range. Use the slider or input boxes to set your minimum and maximum price where you want to provide liquidity. This defines your active range. If the token price moves outside this range, you will stop earning fees. Deposit your tokens. Radium will calculate the required deposit amounts based on your price range and ratio. Enter your deposit and click create position. You'll see a preview of your deposit with a confirm button. Approve the transaction. Your liquidity position is now live and is represented as an NFT in your wallet. Important note, if you lose or burn that NFT, your liquidity is lost with it. It's like an ownership key. To manage your position, go to the portfolio tab, click view more under your CLMM position. You can add or remove liquidity with the plus or minus buttons. But if you want to change your price range, you'll need to close the old position and open a new one. Here's a tip, Radium allows you to keep a position open even if you remove all funds. This saves you fees later if you wanna reuse it. You can earn yield from this in two ways. First, trading fees. Whenever someone swaps through a pool, you earn a portion of the fee for that trade. Second, farming rewards. Many pools let you stake your LP NFT into a Radium farm and earn additional token incentives. To stake into a farm, go to your portfolio, click the plus button next to the position, choose the farm, approve the transaction, and now you're farming for additional yield. Now let's talk risk because this is not a passive strategy, it requires active management. And permanent loss or IL is amplified in CLMMs. By the way, check out our video about impermanent loss if you don't know what it is. If price moves outside your range, you stop earning fees. Even worse, your assets become fully one-sided, 100% 1 of one token and none of the other. When you withdraw, you may end up with less value than if you just held your tokens. There's also NFT loss. If you lose your NFT for some reason, you lose the wallet or burn it, you lose access to liquidity. Treat it like a vault key. There's also market movement risk. If your range is too narrow, you may need to adjust it constantly or you risk your capital sitting inactive and earning no fees. Farming rewards can change over time. So if you're utilizing a pool that has farming rewards, be sure to monitor them. They may expire and your APY may drop. Bottom line, more upside means more responsibility. This is for users who can monitor their positions regularly and are comfortable with dynamic risk. In other words, advanced DeFi users, which some of you will hopefully become. And that's how to provide concentrated liquidity on Radium. It's a strategy for users who want more control and more yield, but it comes with risk, especially from price movement and impermanent loss. If you sound like someone who can handle that, you can give CLMMs a shot on Radium. Just start with a small test position until you learn the basics. For more advanced DeFi strategies like this and weekly updates on the best yield opportunities, subscribe to our newsletter at newsletter.dynamodefi.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to catch the rest of the DeFi 101 series. Until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.